Was John Brown a terrorist? No, at least not by any formal definition. According to the U.S. Code, terrorism involves violent acts that break the law and appear to be intended to intimidate or coerce people, government policy, or to disrupt the process of government by mass destruction, assassination, or kidnapping. But before we go any further, let's ask and answer another question to sort of set the stage. What were border ruffians? Leading up to the Civil War, border ruffians were pro-slavery raiders from Missouri, a pro-enslavement state, who terrorized the Kansas Territory through violence that peaked in the four years between 1854 and 1858. They were trying to force acceptance of slavery in an anti-slavery territory. Armed with guns, knives, and other weapons, these terrorists forcefully interfered with elections by preventing freemen from voting and by illegally voting themselves. They also committed acts of violent terror on Kansas settlers, taking lives and destroying property. Their violence spurred the phrase, Bleeding Kansas, which is a label often hung on John Brown for the Potawatomi incident. Border ruffians violently attacked Lawrence, Kansas in May of 1856 after being incited by Missouri's U.S. Senator David Atchison, a border ruffian himself who became one of their rhetorical leaders. Yes, ruffians, draw your revolvers and bowie knives and cool them in the heart's blood of all those damn dogs that dare defend the damn breathing hole of hell. Wow. Another choice quote from the pro-slavery Atchison encouraged Missourians to defend their institution with a bayonet and with blood, and if necessary, to kill every goddamn abolitionist in the district. Border ruffians illegally disrupted elections, violently threatened, injured, and killed peaceful citizens in order to force enslaving humans as a government policy. That meets the definition to a T. So that was the basic landscape at the time. Rabid racism, violence, lawlessness, and hate. So let's get back to John Brown. John Brown's sons moved to Kansas along with a lot of other people from the abolitionist states in the East to populate the new territory with anti-slavery voters. They'd set out to promote equality through legal voting. The Brown boys quickly became targets of these terrorist border ruffians, and that's why John Brown headed out there. Brown is often called a terrorist because of the Potawatomi Creek incident, where he and his men killed five border ruffians who had planned to murder Brown's sons and families. You can even read about it in the newspaper. This act was murder, but it wasn't terrorism. Brown did not seek to intimidate or coerce a civilian population. He did not seek to influence the policy of a government by intimidation or coercion, nor did he try to affect the conduct of a government by mass destruction, assassination, or kidnapping. He didn't do any of that, even though he had ample opportunity. At Potawatomi, he set out to protect his family. Brown's goal was to disrupt the institution of slavery, not through terrorism, but through slave revolts, where enslaved people walked away from plantations en masse, making the system of slavery broken and hopelessly dysfunctional. His raid on Harper's Ferry, Virginia, was an attempt to ignite a massive walkout of Virginia's enslaved population. His efforts to give weapons to these people was a way to provide them with some sort of defense against the brutal system of slavery. He never killed or kidnapped slaveholding people to intimidate them into freeing the humans they had enslaved. Instead, he attempted to empower the people to take their freedom back. And Brown wanted them to be able to protect themselves from those who had enslaved them. In the conversation about terrorism, it's often said that one side's terrorist is another side's freedom fighter. That cannot be said about border ruffians. They were most certainly not freedom fighters. They were domestic terrorists laying the blueprint for KKK violence. Slavery is terrorism. John Brown was a counter-terrorist. John Brown was a freedom fighter. And John Brown 
was right. Glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on.